What's up guys, Gear Change here. I'm um, just doing a short video on a oil change for my 2010 Ford Focus XR5 Turbo or ST225. Um, just wanted to point out before I actually do the oil change, um, I do have an aftermarket ECU enclosure. Usually you have the factory air box in this sort of position and not the intake over there. So it gives me a lot more access to the oil filter housing down there. So I just thought I'd point that out. Um, got the oil sitting there and a few other bits and pieces over here on the um, table. But um, yeah, we'll uh, get straight into it. Okay, so here I am under the car. Just have to drain the sump plug right there. So I have a 17 millimeter socket and my little draining container here, get all my feet. Um, so just gonna cut to me doing that now. Um, hopefully I don't spill any um, over the torch that's there in the corner. So see how we go. All right, so it was a 17 millimeter socket. Just cranked it. So I'm gonna have to be careful. Slowly loosen it and catch it so it doesn't drop in the container below. Just gonna let that slowly drain out and I'll cut to me doing the oil filter. So I've just drained all of the oil and put the sun plug back in. Just gonna take the oil filter housing off now and replace it with a brand new filter. So here's the housing, just undone it. And that's the condition of the old filter. That bit there. So now time to replace it. Okay, so here is the brand new filter that goes in here. I also had to take off the existing ring that sits in this little ridge down here. So I'm just gonna try and do that now. I won't be able to do it one-handed. Um, it'll be a little bit difficult, but I'll show you when it's done and I'm putting it back into its housing. Okay, so new filter in, new existing ring. Put that down in there, just hand tighten it for now. And I'll get the socket extension, give it a good tighten up, um, and then I can fill up the oil. Forgot to mention for the under tray to use a Torx TX30 bit. Um, some XR5s might not have an under tray on them, mine still does. So I just um, slowly take each of the screws out, slide it out so I can get access to the sump underneath and do the oil change. Um, and then just, yeah, tighten it back up with this little tool. I got this from, I believe Bunnings or Sydney Tools, one of the two. So, super useful. All right guys, just gonna uh, fill it up now with the fresh oil. Just thought I'd fast forward to putting the, the last little bit of oil in. I reckon that'll do it. Just finished the uh, oil change. Just um, topped it up as I showed you guys before. Started up the car, let it run through for a little while. I'm kind of stuck in this uh, spare room or garage because I've got my uh, older sibling's car behind the uh, doors there. So I'll have to take it for a little bit of a run tomorrow. But um, hope you guys enjoyed something different, something um, um, a little out of the ordinary from what I'm usually posting, which is vlogs and whatnot, but hopefully you're gonna do some more installs and other things like that. Also managed to install some Angel Eye fog lights yesterday, which was pretty cool. So yeah, I'll um, catch you guys in the next one.